Hello, this is part two in a series using Excel to calculate uncertainties. In this video, I'm going to be calculating the uncertainty of a gradient on Excel. So there's a lot of uncertainty around each individual value or each um, average calculated. So we can use, I guess, the uncertainty to calculate the gradient uncertainty. So we found the minimum and maximum um, boundaries for uncertainty. So we can add this to the series of data. So select the data and say select data. We're going to add series. So let's call it boundaries. Um, our x values, which is time, it's like that. And our y values, which is height, is that. Uh, I accidentally typed in the wrong height. That should be 200. There we go. Okay, so I've got these orange ones. I can add a trend line. Cool. So now I've got one trend line. I've got one more to go. And then I can find the uncertainty of the gradient. Okay. And we can add another trend line. And we should also get the equation. Okay, so we've got the three gradients. So the maximum gradient is 727.27. And the minimum gradient is 571.43. So now if we again use this absolute uncertainty, we do the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2. Um, so it's plus or minus 77.92 to that middle gradient, 660. I hope that was helpful. Um, in analyzing uh, data involved in a physics experiment. Thanks for watching.